the dot. Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, he said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave a paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, "Now sign it." Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week. When Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed with really gold. Hmm. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with yellow. She discovered she could make a green dot. Vashti kept a spear painting. Lots of little colors and many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make a bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school. Our show, our show a few weeks later, Vashti's mini dots made up quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. "You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw," he said. "I bet you can," said Vashti. "Me? No, not me." I can draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at boy's scribble, and then she said, "Please sign it." Bye.